So, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Hey. This is Thomas. For those of you who don't know, this is my hubby. He hates it when people refer to him as that, so I'm doing it to annoy him. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, this is like a sort of like a weekend vlog. We don't usually have a lot of things going on on the weekend, but this weekend we do because we're seeing Eliza Schlesinger, who's my favorite comedian. I don't know if she's your favorite comedian, but I know you like her. And if you haven't seen her, I'll put her name on the screen because her last name is impossible to like understand how you spell it just from somebody saying it. But she does like a lot of like Netflix specials and whatnot, and she's pretty vulgar, so you know, if you have children, don't watch it with them. Anyway, so, and then we're going go-kart racing on Sunday for our together anniversary. It's not our wedding anniversary. Our wedding, wedding anniversary is in July. Since we've known each other. But it's like since we've like known each other and been together and stuff. I would say dating anniversary, but it kind of sounds, that kind of sounds a little high schoolish. I don't know. But anyway, so that's what we're doing. Yeah, we celebrate it. Yeah. <laughs> we celebrate it? Okay. You may not, but we do. Wait, what? I'm talking to the camera. Oh, you're saying you and the rest of the people, Not but I don't. At the camera, I thought you were looking at me. I'm sorry. Anyway, sorry. Uh, you're very, <laughs> you're very vivacious. This vlogging session. So yeah, we might do some karaoke. We might see his cousin. We saw his cousin last week. Um, I don't really know exactly what the rest of the weekend entails. We're just seeing Eliza tonight. We might go to karaoke. We might go somewhere else. And we're going go karting. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> go karting on Sunday. So, it's going to be a fun-filled weekend. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> okay. Right, bye. bye. Okay, nice. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Are you excited? Yeah. Me too. We have pretty good seats, and I have my basically adult dirly. dirly. <laughs> Adult Shirley Temple, and you got the Bahama Mama. It's really good, so yeah, this is a really unflattering right. angle of me. Alright, see you guys after the show. <laughs> so, we're finding this underground place. I thought that was my car over there. Anyway, uh, Eliza was really good. I really liked it, didn't you? Yeah, she was funny. She was hilarious. So, 10 out of 10 would recommend if she comes to your city. But make sure you get pre sale because they're only doing half capacity, so tickets go really fast. We're locking the car. We're trying to find this place to hang out with his cousin. But yeah, it was a really fun, really awesome set. I thought the show was great. <laughs> to elaborate, the show was hilarious. I'm so glad that I went because then I now know that Eliza is just as funny, if not funnier in person, as much as she is on Netflix. <laughs> everyone so it is Saturday and it has been a very interesting day we didn't get a home until like four in the morning I do not like to stay out that late I don't mind you know a nice night out but I'm pretty much done at like uh, 1 1 30 at the latest but anyway so um, we are pretty tired and it's pretty late in the day because I went to get in my car today because we were gonna go get a new battery for Thomas's key fob because his key stopped working for his car. So we couldn't actually get in the car because it's a, like a push to start and you can't start it with an actual like key itself. Like you can like with my car, which is like a Jetta. His is an infinity, not that that matters. A lot of cars are like this. But I went to go start my car so we could go do that and then go to lunch. And my car had a flat tire and the engine light turned on. So then I had to pump my tires like with a compressor with enough air to get it to the shop so I could drop it off and then my check engine light came on on the way to the shop so I had to tell them about that too. Then we had to get Ubered to um, lunch. Then we had to get Ubered after lunch to a battery stop like a battery place to put the battery in the fob. Then we had to get Ubered home. We spent like $50 in total just to Uber because nobody can help us today like my mom is out of town and like people are busy that I know. So yeah, that was fun. Um, but we uh, are on our way right now to go to Sephora real quick. I need to pick up a makeup item if they have it in stock um, for an upcoming makeup try on haul. I'm not sure if that's gonna go up before or after this video, 
but if it is up before I will link it but I'm going to get the Violet Boss palette so let's see if I can go find that all right so success I got what I needed from Sephora for my video uh, Thomas is trying out the new Dr. Pepper Zero <laughs> pretty fire it's good it's pretty good <laughs> he loves dr pepper it's like my sixth soda i go for but i did try it the other day and actually really liked it we have determined that anything zero like like a pepsi zero or like a coke zero is much better than like the diet versions and so, the regular and sometimes the regular yeah so except for pepsi because i still like regular pepsi but um anyway so now we're on our way to Plato's Closet, which is like a thrift store consignment shop to look for some clothes for him. We also picked up some shorts for him because he had one pair of shorts, so he needed some. And you know, it's like a thousand degrees down here. It's a little more expensive where we just shopped, so. Yeah, so now we're trying to, you know, overcompensate and go to a cheap store. <laughs> so, uh, but it's a really awesome place. If you live in the area, you should definitely check it out. And of course, there's an Ulta right next to it, so I'm probably gonna make my way into Ulta. So today I'm just going to go through my clothes that I got at um, Plato's Closet. Um, they got some uh, pretty cheap clothes this time of year. Um, so I went there yesterday after going to a more expensive store and getting some clothes. But I'm just going to go run through the list for you guys. <laughs> um, so I got this uh, pretty cool polo right here. It's a Tommy Bahama shirt, as you can see. Pretty, pretty expensive. Uh, you get it uh, from the store itself and there it is it's in uh, pretty mint condition mint condition yeah all right that's number one how much did you pay for that um let's see if the tag's on there for you paid 14 dollars for it yes not no all right the next shirt it's in pretty good condition also a pretty nice name brand shirt it's a brooks brothers polo Pretty nice. So, pretty expensive brand. If you get it at the store, it's gonna be close to $100. So, I got that one for $6. <laughs> That's awesome, babe. Mac, stop trying to get in my video. <laughs> His face is just staring at you. All right. Been... <laughs> Mac, Mac. Mac. Lay down, buddy. Lay down, buddy. All right, the next is gonna be the same brand of uh, Brooks Brothers shirts. And uh, got this one striped. So, I like this color, cause I'm an Alabama fan. So, kinda goes with Alabama. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's in good condition. I like the way it fits and looks on me. So yeah, that's another one. And I got that one for $6. <laughs> it's also a $100 shirt if you buy it from Brooks Brothers. All right, the next one, Monica actually picked this one out for me. Uh, this is a Nike golf polo. Um, Good. I really like this one. It's got the Nike uh, emblem on the side. Um, and it's like the, the kind of stretch fit, the dry fit. Um, so it's good for sweat and weather resistant. So that's a nice shirt that I'm going to be wearing. <laughs> How much was that one? This one was... $10. There's another uh, t-shirt um, from a, it's a name brand t-shirt. It's Southern Marsh. Um, down here in these parts, it's run pretty popular. Um, their polos are probably around like $75, $80. And their t-shirts are actually pretty expensive as well. But just to kind of wear around, a little casual, nice t-shirt. Um, got this for $6. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're actually better at this than you think you are. All right, I got this um, North Face like pullover uh, fleece, if you want to call it. Um, it's got the half zipper, which I like. I don't like mostly the ones that go all the way down, um, but it's kind of a cool material. Um, it's almost like a one that you would jog in or just kind of, it's casual, um, but good for probably in the fall, like when it's cool outside. Um, 
I got this for $14. Uh, North Face, uh, pretty, pretty uh, good condition. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last but not least, Monica also pulled, found this one. It's more like a, a fall polo, but it's a Ralph Lauren polo in great condition. That will be good to wear in the fall. Looks good. I tried it on yesterday. I look really good in it. <laughs> so this one was $16. So that's the most expensive out of all of these was $16. So if you haven't made your way to Plato's Closet um, in your nearest location, at your nearest location, then you should probably check it out because they have some good stuff. Um, ours is pretty good here in Birmingham, Alabama, but you know, it's really hit or miss. But if you go at a good time, they sometimes have some good stuff. So all right, I hope you enjoyed this today. And uh, if you uh, liked what you saw, just hit the hit the like button, the follow button, and the subscribe um, for Mona Canna. Um, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> well, hello everyone. It is Sunday. I'm actually cleaning our Brita filter right now, and um, I have a little doggo that has to get between my legs or as close to me as possible. This is Bailey. She's my little baby boxer. She'll be a year in August, but she's so like teeny tiny. I'll show you a better uh, shot of her from a different angle in a second. And then we have another one. But if you have a boxer, do they do this? <laughs> because all the boxers that we've had, Mac does it, he's a white boxer. We had a boxer before her that unfortunately passed away who did this. And then Bailey has to be as close as possible. So she's so cute though, look at that baby. So this is Bailey from another angle. Look how sweet she is. I call her a little deer because she looks like a deer to me. Bailey, come here. Come here. No? Okay. <laughs> and then we've got this sweet boy. This is Mac. He's our nine-year-old white boxer. Look how sweet he is. He kind of reminds me of a pig mixed with a rabbit. I apparently compare my dogs to other animals. Look at his nub going. Oh, Bailey's coming to say hi. See how tiny she is though? Like she's really small for her age. She's 10 months, so. And she hasn't grown in like six months. So yeah, but I'm fine with her being little because she's really clingy. And if she wants me to hold her, it's easier when she's not, you know, like 70 pounds and when she's like 40. She loves him. She does this to him all the time. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you a baby boxer? Do they have to know? <laughs> baby, do you love daddy? Look at her nub. I know, she's so happy. Where's Mac? <laughs> what are you doing? Mac. Hey. Hey. She likes your facial hair so much. <laughs> I got all clear now. Did you get it? Yeah. <laughs> She's like licking her chops. She's at it again. Bailey, do it again. Mm. Bailey. Bailey. <laughs> She's licking everybody's face today. <laughs> There's the snort. Hi, buddy. You're so handsome. She's gonna go back in this corner. She looks like a deer. She's gonna go to the trash can. We are <laughs> we're on the way to Audubon Indoor Speedway to go go-karting. So um, that's what's going on. Thomas is rocking one of the shirts that he got from Plato's Closet yesterday and his uh, some of his new shorts. So yeah, those didn't come from those didn't come from Plato's Closet. Those were the expensive trip before we went to Plato's Closet to feel better about purchasing such expensive shorts. I don't know how that works. But anyway, that's what we're up to. Try to get some footage. I think I'm going to win the race. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I think so. I'm going to bump her off the road. Uh, I, I'm much faster than you. Well, I'm small. I'm like a bat. It's all going to be about skill set because they all go the same speed. Well, I'm very skilled. Wouldn't you say? We'll see. We're gonna have helmet cameras, so we are. Stay tuned. We'll stay tuned. If we get that I did footage, that for this reason right here. What? Definitely growth. Definitely. 
have some proof that what, you're better than me? No, to see who wins. Watch me lose now. <laughs> but I hope we can get the footage from the helmet cameras because that would be kind of cool yeah. to like include in this video. But anyway, my arm's getting tired so I'm going to sign off now and I'll see you guys in a little bit. sitting on the porch enjoying the weather that's hot but thomas made a cocktail for himself that looks very pretty and it kind of goes with your shirt what is it it's uh vodka uh orange juice and cran grape that sounds good how did you make it look so good i just poured it wow the secret to every drink just pouring it if you guys want to see us do like make cocktails on my channel just let me know all right tell me when how it tastes when you're done mixing it Really good. It's really good. It looks really good. I like the color of it. it kind of looks like grapefruit juice. That's what it reminds it? me of. Really? Oh, it's really good. It, it tastes, tastes like, like a Skittle. Yeah. It tastes good. like I don't know what kind of a Skittle. Yeah, it, tastes it tastes like, like blood orange grapefruit or something. Yeah, that's really good. All right, we're gonna put, we're gonna make a cocktail book and we're gonna put it in the cocktail book to make for later. <laughs> Thank you. Right, bye. Are they harassed? Is that kind of weird that you're being requested all right guys so that is the end of our weekend vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys liked kind of seeing like a weekend into the north cuts life especially hope that you guys liked thomas's portion of him showing his haul of his clothes because he 
didn't want to do that. And then he was like, I don't think that I'd be very good at it. And I was like, just, just do it. It'll like, you know, this is what vloggers do. And then he did it and like, he was like better than me at it. So whatever, definitely give this video a thumbs up if you liked that portion. Um, but anyway, I'm about to get in bed. We're gonna watch some <laughs> crime shows because that's what white people do. <laughs> and um, we're gonna head to bed, but I hope you guys liked this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit the notification bell down below so you will be notified when I upload in the future. And subscribe if you're not already. I do vlogs, beauty, more lifestyle stuff, um, just like a whole arraignment of things. So definitely check out my playlist if you kinda wanna see what else I have out there. And if you like, this vlog style and you want to see more, definitely let me know in the comments. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!